up first tonight in less than 24 hours a big decision will be made by the Knox County Board of Education they will be voting on the school system's next superintendent yeah you know we've been telling you that two finalists are in the running Dr. Linda Cash and Dr. John Rice we can see their pictures covering education six on your sides Kristen Gallant is in the studio with us right now to explain how that decision will be made Kristen Bo, Elizabeth, the board has a variety of ways they vote on certain topics, but this is the first time in recent memory they are considering ballot voting. The final decision on how they will decide to vote will be made at tomorrow night's meeting. I spoke to one board member ahead of that vote. Two finalists have been chosen in the search for a new superintendent for Knox County Schools. When you look at curriculum and you look at the instructional patterns, what you're looking for is what do we need to help, how do we need to assist. Dr. Linda Cash, who is currently the director of schools in Bradley County, and Dr. John Ricewick, the assistant superintendent and chief academic officer for Knox County Schools. I think that's great when you have a certified subject area teacher who's teaching alongside with the modifications required for a special ed student. All nine members of the Board of Education will cast their vote on Tuesday. The superintendent really is the leader of the whole system. We have about 90 schools in our system. That includes high schools, middle schools, elementary schools, some preschools, some alternative schools. Board member Virginia Babb says they will be considering a different way of voting than usual, which was recommended by the Tennessee School Board Association. The TSBA assisted in the search process. Since we only have two candidates at this point, um, I think I think a lot of us would like to continue that ballot voting where we actually have a piece of paper, we put down our name, it is read out loud who we vote for. With the ballot voting, each board member would write their names down and their vote. Those votes will then be counted and each member's decision will be presented to the public along with the final vote. I think it is just a um, one-time thing. It kind of uh, it goes back to how TSBA recommended to us. I think a lot of us looked at that and thought it was a good idea, but I can't say if we on Tuesday night will decide to do that or not. Once again, we can't all talk about this beforehand. We will talk about it for the really the second time. We discussed it a little bit on Friday, um, but either way, we will be making Making a vote on Tuesday and um, I'm just looking forward for either of those candidates to take um, charge of our school system and move us forward. Again, this is just one of a few ways they can vote on the new superintendent. The meeting starts at 5 tomorrow night. Bo. All right, Kristen, thank you. Current Superintendent Bob Thomas is retiring at the end of the school year. The new superintendent will start work on July 1st.